Hi, we're going to talk about how to determine the increment on a number line, the increments on a number line. So, let me get a piece of paper so we can see this a little more clearly. We're going to start off by looking at this. Now, this one is pretty simple. It starts at zero and it goes on from there. So let's take a look at this. When we look at this, we see zero, one, two, three, four, five, and we're missing a number. I bet you know what number it's gonna be. Zero, one, two, three, four. We are increasing by how much? One. Each increment is only one. That means zero plus one is one, plus one is two, plus one is three, plus one is four, plus one is five, plus one is, that's right, six. So our missing number is six, right? Now, was that easy or was that easy? Let's take a look at the next one. Different numbers. Whoop, does not start with zero, does it? But let's see what happens here. We have 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, missing number, 59, 60, 61, 62. What do you notice? Okay, did you notice that again, it's just increasing by one? 52 plus 1 is 53, plus 1 is 54, plus 1, 55, plus 1, 56, plus 1, 57. And what is this going to be? Did you say 58? Whoop, whoop. You're right. We're just increasing by 1. And of course, the next number would be 59, 60, 61, 62. Now what? Let's look at our next one. Okay. Now, now we're talking about intervals. So we've been looking at increasing by one or an interval of one. But what happens here? We have 50, 55, 60, 65, mm, 75, 80, 85. Now, if I were counting intervals of one, I would have 50, then what? It would be 51, 52, 53, 54, but that's not what I have, is it? What do you think? What is the increment? Well, let's count. 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55. It took me five to get here. Let's see. That's plus five. Let's see if it's the same to get to the next number. 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60. Was it another five? You know it was. All right, it's looking like we've got increments of five. Let's just make sure. 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65. Yes, another plus five. So we have increments of five. That means to figure out this missing number, I'm gonna add five to this. What is it? Well, you know, it is 65 plus five is 70. Now, this is counting by fives, which you should be able to do now, right? 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85. Oh, 
Let's take, it, take a peek at our next one. Now we have 100, 110, 120, 130, 140, 160, 170. What do you think the increment is now? Well, to get from 100 to 110, how much do I have to add? 100, 101, 102, 103, 104, 105, 106, 107, 108, 109, 110. Let's count our dots. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So this is an increment of plus 10. Now, would it be plus 10 to get from 110 to 120? 111, 112, 113, 114, 115, 116, 117, 118, 119, 120. That's 10 dots. And yes, I can tell now I am I have increments of 10. So plus 10, 130, plus 10, 140, plus 10 would be what? 150. Now you can do the dots and count on, or you could do this, 140 plus 10, zero plus zero is zero, four plus one is five, one plus nothing is one, 150. Now, these are different. We have 64 plus 66. No, not plus 66. 64, 66, 68, 70, bleh, 74, 76, 78, 80. What are the increments here? Hmm. Let's look at the ones. We have a four, a six, eight. What do you think? Well, I know to get from four to six, I would have to add two. So let's see if that works. 64, 65, 66. Yep. These are increments of plus two. 66 plus two is 68. Plus two is 70. And 70 plus two is that what you got? 72. Now another way that you could look at this would be to go backwards, 80 minus two is 78. Minus two is 76. Minus two is 74. 74 minus two is 72. And we could go on, 72 minus two is 70. 70 minus two is 68. As you know, on a number line, when we move to the left, we are doing subtraction. When we move to the right, we are doing what? Addition. We're gonna look at just a couple more. Let's take a look at this one.
this one is trickier. It's not very obviously counting by fives, right? Usually when we count by fives, we start at zero and we go five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, right? Or if we're counting by twos, we start at zero and then it's two, four, six, eight, 10. Well, this isn't either of those. So let's take a look at it. It's 71, 76, 81, 86, 91, blank, 101, 106. What are we doing here? Well, one thing we could do would be to do a little subtraction problem. Let's take two of our numbers, 76 and 71. 76 minus 71 brings me to what? Six minus one is five. Seven minus seven is nothing. Five. Hmm. So that tells me that between here and here, I have five. Meaning if I'm moving to the right, I'm going to do what? Add. So if I do 71 plus 5, is it going to get 76? Let's see. 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76. It worked. So I am adding 5, meaning I have increments of 5. 81 plus 5 is 86. So what is my missing number? Hit pause and see if you can figure it out. Okay. Well, I do plus 5 and 91 plus 5 is what? Did you get 96? That's right, because 96 plus 5 is 101. And the last one we're going to look at together. Hit pause and try to figure this one out. Hit play when you're ready to move on. Okay, so we have 32, 36, 40, blank, 48, 52, 56, 60. Well, what is our increment? Just like we did up here, what we can do is take two of our numbers and do a subtraction problem. 36 and 32. 6 minus 2 is 3 minus 3 is nothing. So this is saying we have increments of 4. 32 plus 4 is 36, and that is true. Plus 4, 36 plus 4, is it 40? It sure is. And 40 plus 4 is going to be what? 44. And of course, 44 plus 4 will get us to 48. I hope this helped you and that it does help you as we do the assignments ahead.